This case considered the issue of fit and proper person in relation to bankruptcy, and whether or not a barrister who became a bankrupt and who failed to pay his tax debts over a long period of time was a fit and proper person to hold a practising certificate. In this case, a barrister was declared a bankrupt after he owed a very large amount of tax debts. He was found not to be a fit and proper person to hold a practising certificate, but appealed this decision on the basis that although he admitted that he was incompetent to manage his private affairs, that he was still a fit and proper person to be a barrister. The central issue, therefore, was whether or not, despite his very large tax debts, he was a fit and proper person to hold a practising certificate. The court ultimately held that 